right, guys, we are out here on Truman Lake with the GoPro, hopefully with no thumbprint. I've got it on my wrist, so if you keep seeing my hand in front of me, that's because it's on my wrist, and that's what's in front of my wrist. But uh, we're out in this little cove over here, just having a good time. This is one of these little party, I wouldn't call it a party cove. I would actually even call it a family cove. And everybody's just coming in and having a good one. It's a beautiful day. So we're going to turn this off for now, and then we're going to head on over to the dam, get some action footage. Actually, we'll just start the action footage right now. Everybody, it's Brian again. We are out on the lake with my wrist cam on the Sea Dew on Truman Reservoir, and we're getting some footage. This is the dam again. We have a little bit of this earlier, but I don't know if you can see. So, like, there's the observation deck, and then here is the dam over that way. My arm doesn't stretch, but anyway. I'm doing this i don't know how the footage is going to turn out on the wrist cam when i'm actually driving because it seems to me like it's moving a lot so if it is and it's terrible i apologize otherwise this is hopefully some good damn footage without a fingerprint um i'm gonna have my assistant angie here come in and see if there's looks like there's a fingerprint Angie, look does it look like there's a fingerprint on that lens can you see Oh, she... I don't see a fingerprint. No. Okay. All right. No fingerprints. But I did, Here is... I did see the fingerprint yesterday. Here is a pontoon coming in quite quite fast. I am actually stayed several yards away from these fishermen. These guys like to fish up here by the dam, so I don't like to get too close and cause them a lot of wakes with their fishing. So that's where we're at. Here's this guy going way too fast to me. But it is what it is. Well, it's a girl, actually. Well, either way. So we got some wakes coming. Here we go. See how the sea dew does over some wakes. It's going to be just fine, most likely. If anybody falls off, hopefully it's Angie <laughs> and not me. Very, very nice, gentle rocking. <laughs> yes, it's a very nice, gentle rocking. The dam's a hot spot, guys. People love the dam. I'm not a fisherman, but here, once again, look over that way. You can see they're letting water out because this reservoir is actually high. Normal pool is like 706. Um, right now it's running about seven, just under 720. Max maximum capacity is about 739. But yeah, those guys love hanging out. They're all just rode up. So when they're letting a lot of water out, there's a current. And it's I guess that current's really good for fishing because they all love it. So I hope they're having them. They, there's some big fish in here. I've seen several pictures of 
really big fish. I've actually seen them jumping out of the, the water. The crappie in this lake, the crappie are, are massive. It's in spots, it's just crazy. All right, so that's some more dam footage. Hopefully uh, you see it a little bit better. I'm gonna go get a little closer. We'll get another close up shot of it. Okay, so here we are. We're uh, just over closer. Get a heads eye view of the close up of the dam. Here's all those fishermen. They're, they're just loving it. They love fishing the dam, the current. It's always funny, I wonder, you know, some guy on one boat reels up this real giant fish. What are those guys next to him thinking? Are they are they really happy for him? Or are they thinking, damn it, should have been me. Needless to say, the waves are moving us away. My arm doesn't bend behind me all the way. Yeah, this lake is really nice. It's it's way more natural the lake of the ozarks as far as like housing or developed it's it's not developed on the shoreline like the lake of the ozarks so it's just a whole different experience really there's my assistant <laughs> i don't think it's back i don't think it comes all the way back here hey guys we're back you're gonna get the full experience with brian um this right here is the Truman State Park Marina. So it's the uh, the government, I guess. It's the Parks Department. Anyway, it's the county. State, I think it's maybe the state. Either way, this is the state-run marina, which is really nice. Me and Angie went here um, the first day we got down here. It was raining and not good. We went in on land. There's a ton of geese over there. Uh -huh. Bunch of baby geese out right now. And the current turned us all the way around. The current turns us. That's all right. We'll turn back. It looks like there's a beach over there. And believe it or not, even though the water temp, what is the water temp right now? 68. 68. It so it's pretty chilly still. But there's people out there. You know kids. Kids will swim in anything. I think kids would swim in ice cubes if you let them. Kind of like goats. They'd climb to the moon if there's rocks that tall. Um, yeah. So anyway, once again nice drive for miles and miles on this lake hopefully we'll spin around we'll spin around i think we just yeah look at that spinning look at that we can do circles uh-huh i'm gonna go back yeah if i he <laughs> says if i do too many circles cindy i'm gonna make you sick that's my mother-in-law <laughs> i don't want to get my mother-in-law sick so we'll stop doing circles but yep, there's the marina. Pretty nice. Rent slips, rent boats. Got a nice dock or a ramp. So, can't complain. That's all this one. Hey guys, it's me. I'm back. This is uh, Long Shoal Marina. We actually went through this one yesterday and stopped and had a potty break and a chip and a drink break. But anyway, you can see everybody's out. There's another uh, marina. Here's an old dew. There's an old dew. Old, I don't know if it's a dew, but I think it's either way, it's an old one. We came through some rough water in the main channel just now, but it was fine. We made it. Brian's skilled. <laughs> yep, there we are. There it is. They got another ramp here. There's a lot of timber in this lake. The lake is high, so it's actually dangerous right it's now too because. Close to the shore. Yeah, because they, they didn't clear out a lot of the forest when they made this lake back in 79. So there's a lot of timber. That's why it's such a good fishing lake. They left a lot of it. Hey, fellow doers, there's a sea spark. That's the first sea spark we have seen since we've been here. I like it. That's the red, blue, white, and black one. And uh, if I was to get a spark, I like that one. They're not too bad. Those don't have all the luxuries. The seats ain't quite as comfortable and stuff. They're more for running around and having tricks but you know what they're for whatever you want to do with them as long as you're out on the water that's all that really matters it doesn't matter what you got you know get a paddle and a piece of styrofoam you know whatever it takes just get out and enjoy it guys because this is what life's about getting out there and enjoying this great earth we're on all kinds of cool stuff to do this lake is way more crowded today i don't know if you guys can see but just panning around here there's a lot more boats but it's, it's the first nice day from start to finish, it looks like, on the holiday weekend. So that's awesome. 
mostly it was fishing boats and pontoons up until now but there's a lot more recreation boats out today but it doesn't have all the cabin cruisers like the lake of the ozarks and that's what really makes the water rough is those giant cabin cruisers they're cool and all but makes it tough on the little guys hey guys um, we're back we're up in the uh, grand arm um, i think about the mile marker 10 we're gonna head up to the last marina here on mile marker 24 so that's a good 14 miles down but this arm is fairly calm i really like it we came from that direction down there and then we're gonna head over that direction there and i'm gonna go ahead and since it's nice and smooth we're gonna do sport mode we haven't done that yet so i'm gonna do a launch in sport mode i'm gonna we show you we haven't shown it i'm trying to show you the dash so if you see the dash when you turn on sport mode it tells you to hold on tight and you're going to see why here in a second sport mode increased acceleration instruct passengers to hold on tight. Okay, we're in sport mode. You holding on tight, Pastor? The rope's all up? All right, guys, here we go. was the brakes guys we got brakes on this thing you can slow down quick but we got it up to 50 i'm not going to push it too hard we're still in our break-in mode but uh yeah sport mode's fun this ain't fun but sport mode's real fun thanks for watching <laughs>